Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Wanted to create this quick video to show you how to set an intro and outro video in Streamlabs Talk Studio for your live stream. All right, so after logging into the Streamlabs platform, the first thing you wanna do, of course, is upload your videos that will be set for your intro and your outro video. And if you want to know how to create an intro and an outro video with Canva, you can actually go to this video right here that I created that shows you step-by-step -step how to create an intro and outro video in Canva. All right, so what you wanna do is inside of Streamlabs, you wanna go ahead and go to the video menu here on the right. After you have uploaded your videos, but if you haven't uploaded your videos, of course, you would go here to upload your videos. And once you upload your videos and they get uploaded, they're going to be available here under clips. And so what we want to do is you want to find your video that you want to set for the intro. And you want to hover your mouse over it and go to the three dots. And the three dots is going to open up a menu and you want to set that video as intro. Okay, and so as you can see, it is now indicated as intro. And you wanna do the same thing for your outro video. And of course, my video for my outro is here. So I'm gonna hover over it, go to the three dots, and I'm gonna set this one as outro. Okay, and so I'm just gonna show you these videos just so that you see them. But when I get ready to record, Streamlabs is going to automatically start my intro video. So I want to show you what the intro looks like. Okay, so that's a sneak peek of that. And I want to show you what the outro looks like. Okay, and that's a sneak peek of that. So now what we want to do is, uh, once you have them set, you just want to go live. In this case, I'm not going to go live because I don't want to go live to my channel at this time. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the record button and that's going to do the exact same or that's going to function the exact same way as me going live. And what it's going to do is it's going to play that intro video, which I have here. It's going to play that. So I'm just going to go ahead, hit record, and I'm just going to say this is just testing. Start recording. It's going to do the countdown and it's going to play that intro. All right, so there you go. For the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna play that entire intro. But as you can see, with me having the intro set, Streamlab automatically plays that intro video. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop recording as if I'm stopping my live stream or stopping my video recording. And what's gonna happen is Streamlabs is going to prompt me or ask me, do you wanna play the outro video? Which I'm gonna select yes. So I'm just going to stop the recording and right here, as you can see, it has play outro and end recording. It also has where you can end now without the outro, but I want to play the outro so that you can see it. All right. And so there you have it. And that's it. That's all you have to do to set your intro and outro video inside of Streamlabs. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like the video, share it. Also, I would love to hear your comments. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we upload another video. Hey, I want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.